Hey, what's going on guys? Kalamazi here. I actually ended the stream early tonight to work on this video because earlier today, uh, earlier today, I don't know what I was saying there. Uh, Blizzard responded with a blue post talking about the Wither Black and Soul issues slash bug. It was essentially a bug. Uh, it has been reverted, which is great to see. Hellcaller is back for both Affliction and Destruction. Uh, so today we're going to talk about that a little bit in this video and also go over briefly embellishment crafting what you should maybe do uh, and also look at some sims if i can find them here for affliction which is pulled ahead once again in sims and single target maybe compare the demo if i can find some and go from there i do want to say very quickly that when it comes to embellishment crafting there's no set in stone best first craft best second craft it's going to vary a lot this tier because one of the embellishments ascendance can only go on weapons and the longer you wait the more accurately you can figure out what's best for you so yeah we course add-ons links to twitch discord my website down below uh, also the website talked about it last night video in the last night's video as well it's up to date for uh boss fights uh for narrow palace as well as talent builds and all that going to be adding embellishments up to date uh consumables all tonight if you want should all be there for you guys and uh yeah let's get into it all righty so the first thing here i want to hit on uh, i just noticed i'm off center in my camera whatever sorry uh so this is the post we talked about earlier this was the this is referencing the black and soul issue that we were having with af for a while uh, for those that aren't familiar familiar with that issue uh, it was both af and destro essentially any kind of hellcaller build uh what it was doing was basically uh whenever you're playing hellcaller was that it was let me just change here this is annoying um what it was doing was that it put an internal cooldown on whenever black and soul which is stacks of wither could gain us uh, like stacks whether it was one or two at the same time it could only gain him it can only have that event happen once every five seconds this was pushed uh late friday night and it made hellcaller for both destro and af much much worse uh for a plethora of reasons it, it interacted with black and soul it interacted with bleak heart tactics with seeds of their demise with malevolence all across the board all the above it basically nerfed the entire tree now i we weren't sure if it was supposed to be like a stealth nerf or a bug i assumed it was likely a bug because that change is a very very large one to make this far into release where we were less than you know a week or three or four days away from the raid launching um less than 12 hours now basically for us servers uh a change like that you make in a 0.5 patch or a 0.1 patch or more so on beta and you compensate with buffs to other things and explain as to why you're making that change uh, so i assumed it was likely a bug um today they came out with this statement saying this was unintended and a fix for it's been deployed the original change was intended to, intended to prevent vile taint from activating black and soul for every enemy uh, it affects by providing a small enough internal cooldown that would have no effect on gameplay i'm assuming i don't think it even worked this way before regardless but i'm assuming it's probably referencing like uh basically here um whenever uh whenever what's the wording exactly um each time whether you're in stacks whatever where is it at um spending soul shards on damaging spells right i'm assuming they're referencing like this and the fact that battle tank costs a shard and applies you know a dot to enemies that it hits and also does some damage right um so i guess if you're hitting like five targets uh black and soul checks for like the stack effect basically on resolution or whatever damage is dealt uh, sorry not resolution whatever damage is dealt i'm assuming they're trying to work around that maybe because they all don't deal damage at the exact same millisecond so there's some like potential for weirdness there with you know vile taint and black and soul tldr didn't change anything uh it's been reverted it's actually back to a i guess back to a 0.5 internal cooldown on black and soul so you really won't ever encounter that kind of like you know weird uh we're having that weird stacking you know icd at all anymore so cool that's been reverted good change thankfully cool good to see i'm moving my camera this is driving me crazy um good to see still out of center whatever how do i fix this i'm not editing this out perfect there we go um yeah so number two um so we have sims here as well now when we're looking at uh affliction demo destro sims here af and demo are the front runners and i want to show these sims here because we're very close to the raid opening up i made the raid video yesterday talking about what's good in each fight so on and so forth and woke up today uh to see affliction ahead of demonology again in sims uh they've been trading back and forth between soul harvester demonology soul harvester af uh 
Demonology, Diabolus Demo was nerfed a little bit. There was some haste healing with the Pit Lord in Sims, apparently it's the way in game. So that was changed. Uh, here is the current Sim, I believe, in Bis hearing for uh, Diabolus or Diabolus Demonology. You can see Ruination here. 1.318, basically 1.32 million. Uh, looking at Soul Harvester, you're sitting at about 1.322 million uh, for Demonology. This is playing Soul Harvester here. Big difference here. Uh, Tyrant being 4.1% and not basically 10%, 9%, whatever, in your damage breakdown. Uh, some other things here and there as well. Uh, soul Anathema, Demonic Souls, a lot more raw uh, uh, succulent souls being generated here for Demonology as Soul Harvester compared to Aff because it's how often you generate shards. But interestingly enough, with the Aff Bis profile being implemented, we have seen Affliction, Soul Harvester, pulling ahead, sitting at 1.379 million. Uh, they've implemented a new profile for it. Uh, this is the actual sim here. They have shifted out of Contagion into two points into Cold a Week, which uh, looks to be a raw gain of about 2k for me and my own personal sim. And in general, you factor in second target, third target here, coal gains even more value. Um, putting all that aside, you are indeed playing a point here in Dark Harvest over this as well, but some fights you might want Death's Embrace or more. Um, other big thing being added here is Mad Queen's Mandate. We hit on this a bit in the in the Wowhead AF guide, a bit in the Trinket video as well a few weeks ago. Um, this is a strong trinket. This is basically basically Beloros, um, but like in a single target and has some clauses on it where it can be reduced to a minute cooldown. It's a lot of raw damage and Affliction's likely one of the best specs to get this trinket early on. Crit's very good for us. And we have Haunt, Shadows Embrace, two modifiers that both increase damage, not just straight up, you know, dot damage. It's damage you deal. Haunt increases Mag Queen's Mandate. Shadows Embrace wherever it is in here, also increases Mag Queen's Mandate. So this being implemented, plus some changes here and there being pushed, also change things up. Um, when it comes to like other things as well, um, there might be some more room for optimization here. Not really totally sure, but besides that build wise, same build we played for a long time, except for this being moved to here. And there's that. So currently it looks like Soul Harvester AF has taken over as the best single target version of Warlock in general anywhere, but we're still sort of middle of the pack. I'd say when like, looking at sims and stuff. Par should do some classes being too strong, like Arcane Mage and Shaman need to get nerfed again, probably. Um, but either way, uh, let's do the best here. In relation to the video I put out yesterday on the Narabar Palace best specs and all that, the fights this may affect are basically Sikron and um, Nexus Princess, the two Patrick fights of the tier. Uh, I said that you probably played Demo on those. It was the highest simming spec in single target, but I mentioned Soul Harvester Aff on those as well. You can just play Soul Harvester Aff whatever not a big deal either way um very easy swap and that is that now the last thing i want to hit on here is embellishments and crafting my ui broke again that's pretty cool uh for week one of or within uh well i guess the actual season launching right now people have been asking a lot what do i craft with my spark what do i do uh, i want to make an item i'm tired of waiting on it what do i do so this is going to vary a lot from player to player if you want to go into the raid in 12 hours, whenever it launches from right about now or whatever, with a craft item and everything, all kind of stuff, spending your spark, all that, whatever, make a staff. Wait for the patch to come out tomorrow, get two sparks, make a staff, put Ascension on it, Dark Moon Sigil, and go from there. Um, I would say make a staff, but I would say it would be better to wait for you to clear the raid out, kill some bosses, do M zeros, and then wait for your great fault next week, eight days from now when Mythic comes out and then make a choice from there. Um, the reasoning behind this uh, overall, when it comes to embellishments, uh, you're, you're, you're looking at playing Ascendance on your weapon, uh, Baton or whatever you make here, making an off air staff, uh, and, some, and the Nerubian embellishment here. Now, Focusing Lens does sim higher for Affliction, but I wouldn't recommend that. It's like Shadow Flame Embellishment. It's good in single target, not very good anywhere else. Um, it loses value in AoE, Council stuff, all that, right? So if you want to spend your sparks tomorrow, get the other half, you can make a staff, do whatever, and put an embellishment on it. Um, but like I said, I think waiting is better. And the reason behind that is because embellish or Dark Moon Sigil Ascendance only goes on weapons, main hand, off hand, or staff. Now, Obviously, making a main hand costs one spark, or an off hand also costs one spark. Making a staff costs two. So if you want to wait to clear the raid out a little bit, if you're doing split runs, or just in general doing the raid, and you can wait to see if you get a main hand, 
then I would say instead of making a staff, craft an offhand with this on ascendance, right? If you save a spark, you can make two pieces instead of one. To a similar extent, if you loot an offhand, you can then make a main hand. You can also put a sentence on the main hand. One spark, you can make two pieces. One spark in your main hand and one spark somewhere else, right? Um, if you don't want to do that and want to just make a staff now, you can do that, like I said, and take both your sparks uh, and just play the Rubian thing here. I think it's like writhing, banding or something like that. You can play this on a lower eye level item. Like for example, my main lock has this, uh, this Nerubian enchant on his cloak. Cloak and bracers are lower main stat, secondary stat um, values compared to like, you know, legs and gloves, and everything else, right? So you could put this on a lower item, like a 590 cloak, whatever, that you can make just from turning in 30 crest and wear this for next week, the week after. Uh, and then when week two of Mythic opens up, you'll have a full another spark again. So you can then say, okay, cool. Then I'll make a, you know, higher eye level piece with the Rubian thing on it, whatever, and still have your staff around and essentially never lose value by still playing two embellishments, being a larger staff here to make early on with two sparks with ascendance on it. And you can play once again, the Rubian wherever you want, preferably on a lower eye level piece or lower stat piece uh, at 590 and go from there. Like I said, I think it's better to wait for um, the raid. Do your M zeros, do the raid, see if you get, uh, realistically see if you get anything from heroic, a main hand or an off hand, and then wait for your great vault. Because the great vault, if you do delves level eight, will have a hero piece in it. If you do four, I believe from delve track, if you go into the raid and do heroic, obviously you can get a main hand or off hand from there. And your great vault will have things in the raid as well. So if you want to spend sparks tomorrow, get two sparks, get your other half, make a staff, have a good time, uh, and wear a 590 piece with the Rubian on it with your larger staff with ascendance. If you want to wait, it's better to optimize that way. Waiting obviously sucks, but at the same time, uh, you can optimize more around, you know, if you loot an offhand, make a main hand for one spark. If you loot a main hand, make an offhand for one spark, right? Um, so it sort of depends, but in the end, I might make a staff on this guy and make a main hand on my other character. Embellishments are not going to be set in stone for everybody. Some might loot a staff, some might loot an offhand. Maybe you get a main hand, who knows? But that is the general template I would likely follow for embellishments heading in the next week. But keep in mind, once again, it will likely vary for everyone. Uh, and when it comes to a race world first setting, what they make is not always what you want to make because they're, they're taking into account uh, the race lasting a week and a half for them versus like my guild lasting a month and a half, something like that, a bit more, a bit less. Uh, and other guilds would be lasting longer or shorter. So that's what I would do with embellishments. Um, and that goes for Af, Demo, and Destros, playing the same embellishments, whatever you want, Ascendance and the Rubian embellishment so like always thanks for watching guys hopefully the video helped clarify any questions you might have had about sims uh demo versus af raid stuff the bug fix and or embellishments heading into i guess tomorrow honestly because it's already this week you know raid week um like i said embellishments are going to vary a good bit between each character uh it depends on your loot luck what you loot all that but if you if you want to just go into the raid tomorrow with a spark item just get your second spark make a staff put ascension on it and just go from there. But uh, either way, regardless in two weeks, it won't really matter in the first place. You'll get another spark and you can make whatever you want. So I'd say have fun with it, but it will, it might benefit you more to wait until heroics over this week, next week, open your vault and then figure it out from there. But yeah. So if you guys have any week wars add ons or anything, uh, links to Twitch discord, and my website down below, you can get them for free uh, at the same time, like always a huge shout out to my patrons for all support on Patreon. Like always y'all thank you a million times. Um, I greatly appreciate it. Allows me to keep doing what I'm doing for y'all making content and just, yeah, I, I, I appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> uh, if you're looking at supporting on Patreon, should be a link up here. It's so down below in the description. Uh, also want to mention that the website kalamaza.gg is up to date for uh, most things for the raid, talent builds for the raid in that section. Uh, each spec section has its own talent builds as well. Consumables, enchants, rotations, all kind of stuff. I'm updating it. It should be up to date now with embellishments and things. When this video goes live. Um, it should all be there for you. And in general, if things do change with Warlock, like talent builds, whatever, we're using the website as the main hub for all that. So if you want to get builds, you can go on there, click the spec, copy the talents, you're good to go. And that will likely change, or if it changes, That'll be the place to go for the remainder of the patch and the remainder of me playing this game, whether it's a month or 10 years, hopefully 10 years. But uh, there's that. So, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. Much love, and I'll catch you all again soon on stream. Peace.